Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at the cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to check in with your intuition because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So this one here I feel is your first card. Let's see what it says. Body talk. Connect to the wisdom of your body. Listen to what it needs for health, wellness, and vitality. So Pisces, there might be a need uh, to check in with your body, check in with your mental health, your emotional health, as well as your physical health. You might be starting a new routine. You're looking at your diet, perhaps, or exercise routine, or something else to do with your health. Um, but check in because but there, perhaps do a body scan because I am seeing that there's innate wisdom here that you're going to understand if you listen. So beautiful. Okay, lovely. Let's take a look at your next card. I'm also getting a sense here of sleep with body talk with this card here. So um, really uh, take notice of your sleep patterns and um, I feel there's going to be an improvement there if you have been struggling with sleep okay this one here is yours goddess of the unknown a new chapter of your life is around the corner remove fear and embrace the unknown so even though you're not sure about it this is a bit like the full card you're not sure about what is to come uh, perhaps you're taking a risk or a gamble you're kind of going off on your own with something perhaps doing something solo or even with a partner or your family there is a, a fear, there's a residual energy of fear within you and spirit saying release that. It needs to go. Embrace this unknown energy because the universe is going to provide for you and show a way. And it's got to do with a new chapter, a new area of your life opening up, a new chapter, a new phase. So even though there's something unknown that's going on around you and you'll know what this is if it resonates of course with you you'll know what it is um, even though there is something unknown happening around you it's so important to just let go of that fear make a conscious effort um, this week to let go of any fear that you feel and definitely don't hold it in your body you might feel the fear in your body actually that's interesting uh, dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So you're going to receive a sign, a symbol, a message. Something is going to really stand out for you when you're dreaming. So dream journaling may be very helpful for you. There is a relationship here with body talk and with your health and your wellness your vitality um, and it might not just be physically it might be the health health of a relationship perhaps um, or the health health of your your work life your home life but your subconscious um, and spirit team they're going to come through and bring you a sign whether it's in your sleep when you're dreaming or it might be uh, signs and symbols when you are awake. Let's take a look at your next card here. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. So you're going to a new energy band, which is amazing. You're going to a higher vibration. You're going to be more perceptive toward things, toward people. What is right for you? Who is right for you and who isn't? So being in the moment, the present moment is going to open up your eyes rather than thinking on the past too much or thinking on the future, dreaming of the future even. Um, it's about the present moment. That's where the power lies for you. So beautiful. Okay, let's see with this deck. Message here. That one definitely wants to come out for you, Pisces. All right, let's see. New beginnings. Wow, so we have this again. This is perfect. Perhaps you've recently moved into a new beginning of some kind. 
might be coming up this week or sometime soon though but I do sense for some this has already happened and it is a new beginning and you're opening up to new possibilities now new beginnings an unknownness and a new chapter arriving so it's the same message so this means it's definitely on the way if it hasn't already arrived in your life and it's it's very it's very positive very positive energy here I love it okay let's see I'm also being told, Spirit is telling me that for some, there is a need to have an ending before this new beginning can take place. So you'll know if that's for you, but an ending needs to take place and then this new beginning, this high vibe energy will start to appear in your life. Guidance for Pisces. Let's start with this card here. We have the Emperor energy, you being in control of your own destiny, you manifesting what you want around you materially, you building a solid and strong financial position for yourself, work position for yourself or relationship. This is you build, building a strong life that's long lasting. This is a long lasting energy with the Emperor. So that's beautiful. Now we also have the father energy here with the emperor. So you might be having dealings with or a relationship uh, might come into focus with your father. Uh, maybe grandfather even. There might be something going on there. You might be becoming a father. There is an energy here of Aries as well. So I will mention you may have an Aries around you significant in some way. But this energy is definitely about empowerment for you, I feel. You might be stepping up into a leadership role. The Emperor is a leader. And so you might be doing that in your home life, personal life, or perhaps in your professional life somehow. That is on the way. The High Priestess is about listening to what your subconscious is telling you so i'm not surprised that this card here is right beside this one so it is about your subconscious your dream state the psychic world and spirit world and you're listening to the signs symbols omens that are coming through for you and so this is speaking to the spiritually aware of out there that's listening to this um you have signs and symbols that you already use or that you're going to be taking notice of these things um, that perhaps you haven't been taking notice of before. I'm just getting a sense here that um, there might be a new sign that comes through, a new way that spirit's going to be talking to you. So I get that message. There's definitely a psychic energy here. If you're developing yourself psychically, the high priestess is backing you up 100%. You're going to receive something clear audiently, hearing something or visually um, with clairvoyance, I feel. So that is really interesting. Very powerful intuition happening here. Now we have a completion with the world. So very powerful completion. And I was, I'm feeling that it's related to what I was seeing here with these two cards of a new beginning. To have this new beginning, you're going to have to have an ending. And this world is about tying up loose ends. It's about you understanding that something is coming to a close. And not to be fearful of that. And not to be fearful of the unknown that might be coming up ahead for you. So it's about... Things coming around full circle and you're now ready to close that door and you're ready to open a new one for yourself. So so I do sense that with the world. Um, it can also indicate travel as well. So you might be traveling, you might be looking at travel. Um, someone may be coming to you, you may be going to them. Let's have a look at your next card. We have the seven of pentacles. This can indicate waiting. It might be the waiting game. You perhaps wait, waiting for someone to uh, contact you or um, an organization, workplace maybe to reach out toward you for a job. It is pentacles. So something physical here is going on too. So we do have the health and wellness here, physical energy materialized energy so um, really looking and reflecting on your health and well-being and lifestyle this week is really important I'm also seeing a crossroads with this card so I see you waiting you're at a crossroads you're not sure you're not making a decision just yet 
But I feel with this emperor energy here in the world, there will be a change that takes place. Listen to your intuition with the high priestess. The world is a closure, a holistic closure though. And the emperor is that um, you being empowered in that empowered energy and being in a leadership position somehow. So you're taking control uh, perhaps back over your health and lifestyle and well-being. Okay, let's take a look at your final card. We have the Five of Wands. Now this energy, I feel this is an energy to get you moving. I feel that this is a prompt um, for you to release and let go of any tensions, arguments, um, any sort of competition that you might have with someone around you. And it's time to start moving forward and not hold on to a grudge or not to reminisce too much about this. It's about new beginnings because this card here is touching on these two cards of new beginnings. So it's not about holding on to the past or holding a grudge or um, it might be about forgiveness actually. Forgiveness and then healing with the world card here. So I do sense that is a message that some need to hear. Okay, so you've got some really wonderful cards here, actually. I just love this new beginning. Embrace the unknown that is happening around you. We have wholeness, healing, um, and really reflecting on the health of your body or the health of something, a relationship perhaps, or your work life. Really looking at the health of something in your life, embracing the moment, because this is going to be extremely powerful for you. You're going to find some amazing positivity in doing this and some amazing upliftment, changing your energy vibration, actually. Remember this dream energy here as well and the psychic energy, any kind of impression psychically or symbol signs, omens that come across your path that you think, hmm, that's a little bit strange. I'm going to take notice of that. Perhaps meditate and sit with that and you'll receive an answer from spirit. So you have really beautiful energies here. You really do. Pisces, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and that you enjoyed the reading. I hope you did enjoy the reading. If you did, you can click the like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all your support on my channel. I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.